swing on me there, nigga. I'm like, oh, is he gonna go there tonight? Just run over there. Like, I'm talking about, like, they they, they ready to square up type shit. I'm like, oh my goodness. Hood nigga got in the fight, started jumping on them boys. Like, they were jumping on them boys. I was like, oh my goodness, they jumping this one nigga. Oh shit, somebody got that ad knocked the fuck out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Peso, aka Young Peso. I'm back at y'all boys with another video. And as y'all boys see by the title, man, I got a story time for y'all boys. The craziest fight I ever witnessed in my life, bro. I promise you, this is the craziest fight I've ever witnessed, bro. Y'all boys seen by the little clip I put in the beginning. There was a lot of bloodshed in this fight, bro. You know what I'm saying? Before we get into all the craziness, man, y'all boys go show love on my Instagram, man. It is the same as my YouTube, so y'all boys can just easily find me. That is where I post when I'm posting videos. And I just be posting some fire ass pics, man. So y'all boys go over there and show some love, man. I follow up everybody that will follow me right now, man. So y'all boys definitely go show some love, man. But if you're not subscribed to my channel already, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button and join that cash mod, man. We can live this gang on YouTube, dog. Turn on that post notification bell if you don't have that thing turned on already. So you know when I drop some some heat, man. And you know when I live stream on video games and stuff like that, too. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. And my last announcement, man, I just want to thank y'all for showing me so much love and support, man. We almost had 3K subs, man. Hey, dog. Blessed to be here, man. So I just wanted to give y'all thanks. And that 5K sub, I'm going to do a giveaway. Like I said, probably two PlayStation gift cards or one PlayStation gift card or one Xbox gift card. So two people had a chance to win. When I hit 5K subs, I'll make a video on that so y'all boys know what to do to end up winning the contest. But man, hey, enough with all the talking. Let's get straight into the video. Let's shit get it. Damn. I said, it was one day your boy wanted to hoop, man. Get a little exercise, get a little rough with his money. So I had to go across town just to go to a gym where I know it's like people my age or people a little older that's gonna give me a run for my money. Cause the gym around here used to just be like, it used to be like little kids, little high school teens. I know I'm gonna go in there and dominate. So that that's not worth my money. I don't know about y'all, but that shit, is, that shit is absolutely boring to me when I can just go in and dominate my competition, bro. Like, I don't know about y'all, but that shit's boring to me. But enough with that, I called up the One Life Fitness. That's the name of the gym I went to. Called up One Life Fitness. I'm like, hey, is it people up there hooping? They're like, not right now. It's usually people that come at so-and-so time. So I'm like, okay, that give me a few a few, a few, few minutes to just like get some shots up, get warmed up a little bit so when people come, I'm ready to go. And I was saying, I used to hoop. So I know what I'm doing. So I went in there, got a little warm up, got my shot right, made sure I was loose. Then people started walking in. It was about my age or a little older. It don't even matter. But they walked in. We started playing five on five. And I mind you, I was ready. I was ready to go. I was warmed up, legs loose, shot ready. Shot with, you know what I'm saying? Boy, if you don't. But uh, yeah, we started running five on five. And it was just a cordial game, you know what I'm saying? Nobody talking shit. Nobody doing that. We just going back and forth. Five on five, regular five on five. You know what I'm saying? I'ma get I'ma get these did this group. I'ma get this group of people a name. The hood niggas. Because they walked in, you know what I'm saying? They had all tattoos. You know what I'm saying? They walked in with a with a side sideways cap with the A on the house. Like, shit, okay, okay. So them them the hood niggas. And mind you, one of them had a, a bull, a bull nose ring. That's gonna play a major key in this story. That's gonna play a major key. So they walk in and I'm like, I look at this out. I'm like, okay, okay. Some hood niggas pulled up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to throw them under the bus or nothing. I just don't know them. And just going by their looks. They look like they're from the hood. You know what I'm saying? They look like they're from the hood. So I looked over, I'm like, yeah, okay. These niggas look like they gonna get on the court and like rough rough them up so i'm like okay i'm finna be ready for that i'm finna be ready because you know i'm used to that i'm used to like being roughed up on the court so the hood niggas walked in and the game's still going on my team ended up winning that game so then another group of people it was it was about five people though. it was about five people so they made one person go in and pay the 15 dollars fee to get in the gym if you don't have a membership so he had to get in the gym pay his 15 and then he let the four other people in through their emergency exit. Now, I don't know how the alarm didn't go off. This isn't the gym I usually go to. So the, the alarm just didn't go off. So they got in for free, which was pretty smart. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was smart. They don't check the cameras. They don't be looking at nothing. But yeah, they let, 
he let them in through the emergency exit. So I'm gonna call them the emergency exit boys. But like I was saying, my team ended up winning that first game. And then the two hood niggas got on the court and buddy with the bull nose ring was guarding me. And he was, he came on the court roughing me up, talking his shit. So I'm like, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen because they the, the hood niggas, that's what they do. They like to try to get in your head and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That, that didn't work on me. Cause you know what I'm saying? I used to, I used to hope for real. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't work for me. I was still doing my thing. He couldn't guard me. He couldn't do nothing with me. But unfortunately, my team ended up getting off the court. So that's when this thing, that's when this thing kind of escalated. Cause then the emergency exit boys got on the court and them boys was roughing each other up. Like roughing each other up. It was a big dude, you know what I'm saying? You know how big dudes be using their elbow when they turn, do all this, do all that. So yeah, one of them was on the court doing that. Like doing that shit on purpose. Cause I guess they was roughing each other up a little bit. So he was like, okay, I'ma just, I'ma just start throwing bows. So then he was like, hey bro, the dude with the bull nose was like, hey, bro, like, you catching me in my jaw, bro. Like, stop that shit. And he was like, but he was doing it. He was like, no, they like, like, we roughing each other up. It's basketball. We doing it. So I'm like, okay, they, they doing their thing. They doing their thing. So then the, the hood niggas end up losing the game. So then, mind you, I'm outside getting some water because my team on next. So, you know, so I got to get rehydrated so I can be ready to, you know what I'm saying, do my thing. Do my thing. Boy, if you don't, you know what I'm saying. I walk back in, the bull nose ring nigga, and that nigga who was throwing them bowls is going back and forth in an argument. I guess they like trying to talk it out, do it, whatever. And I'm thinking it's all cordial because they kind of smiling, they kind of smiling. So I'm like, okay, they just trying to defend they defend their case or whatever. They just yeah, they just defending their case. So I'm like, okay, they just defending their case. They doing whatever, they doing that with you. So then it escalate, buddy with the bull nose rings like. Swing on me then, nigga. I'm like, oh, is he gonna go there tonight? So then, buddy who was throwing the bows swings on that nigga. So like I said, it was two hood niggas that walked in. So the other hood nigga got in the fight, started jumping on them boys. Like they was jumping on them. I was like, oh my goodness, they jumping this one nigga. Oh my goodness, like it's going, it's going down. Like it's like some WWE shit, bro. I promise you, it's like some WWE shit, bro. They start getting down on that one nigga. So they leave that nigga like knocked out on the floor. And bruh, I know y'all remember that video I put in the beginning of the video, bro. That's what this all led up to. You know the nigga with the bull nose ring I told you about, bruh. Bruh, they rip this nigga Pearson out. Like, not, not, oh, it unhooked and it came out. Ripped out the cartilage, bruh. Ripped it straight out. And he on the ground laying like this with his hand on him. So I'm like, oh, he must have like, he must have got hit in his jaw. Like his arm must be bleeding. He get up and I'm like, oh, no, no. That nigga, that nigga nose ring got pulled out. So that's why all the blood was on the floor. So then somebody goes to the front desk to get somebody who works there to come in there and like, like break up the fight. But by that time when they came in, the emergency exit boys saw the people walk in, they grabbed their stuff and ran back out the emergency exit. So they can't worry about them too much because it's a nigga laying on the ground with, with blood on the floor. So they go to that nigga, worry about that nigga, help that nigga up, get us some paper towels to put over his nose. And then Buddy get up and says, on oh my daughter, I'm gonna kill them niggas. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, did this really escalate to that, bro? He said, on my daughter, I'm gonna kill the niggas. I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow. I'm I'm shocked at that point. I'm shocked at that point. So then they helped him get all this stuff out, take him to the bathroom, like just like clear his nose up from leaking. They call the ambulance, they call the cops. So then the cops walk in, like investigate the scene. I mean, it's really nothing to investigate because nigga in the bathroom, emergency as the boys left. Ain't nothing to investigate, but they came in there, started asking around people questions like, hey, did you see who was fighting? Like, who left out the emergency exit? And then they asked me a question like, did you see who left out the emergency exit? So I said no, because I'm not no, first of all, I'm not no snitch. I'm, I'm not gonna snitch on nobody, but I don't know neither side of them. So I'm not gonna side with nobody, even though the emergency exit boy, dog. Them niggas fucked up for jumping on that one nigga. Like, I ain't gonna, they fucked up for that. 
but yeah, I'm like, I'm not gonna side with nobody because I don't even know the names. I don't even know the names, bro. So I'm like, nah, I don't even know who it was. I ain't even seen a face. I walked in from getting water. So then, you know what I'm saying? They like, okay, we just gonna have to check the cameras, do all that whoop de whoop. So then I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, after all that, bro, everybody like, bro, we still running? We still doing this? Everybody like, shit. After that, I don't know. So like, everybody went home after that. They kind of ruined the run. Just simply from from getting that fight, dog. That is the end of the story time I got for y'all boys today, man. If y'all enjoyed this content, man, give it a thumbs up, dog. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already to join the Cash Mob, man. We the latest game on YouTube, man. Turn on post notification bell if you don't have it turned on already, so you know when I drop some heat, and so you know when I live stream, do my video game, do all that stuff, so you just don't miss out, man, on anything. Last announcement, man. Like I said in the beginning, just want to thank y'all so much for just showing me love and support, man. It means so much to me, man. It just keeps me grinding, it keeps me like trying to get more content for y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? Trying to bring some lit content for y'all boys. So with that being said, if y'all like this story time, give it a thumbs up or leave in the comment section. Do more story time, and I will do it. You know what I'm saying? I do have. I ain't gonna say I live a crazy life, but I do have a few crazy stories that I can share with y'all. So yeah, if y'all like the story time, man, y'all boys say do more story time. Or just like the video and if I get Alright, I'ma do I'ma do 25 likes. If I get 25 likes, bro, I'm gonna be like, okay, y'all wanna see more story time. So yeah, 25 likes and comment in the comment section, do more story time, and I got y'all boys that. And like I said, at 5k, I'ma do a giveaway. Two people got a chance to win a PlayStation gift card or an Xbox gift card. So yeah, when I hit 5k, I'ma drop all the requirements that y'all need to enter the contest and end up winning the contest. But hey, it's your boy Peso, aka I'm Peso, and I'm out there, bitch, man. Let's get it, gang.